Never in my life have I been so embarrassed watching a football match. I mean, even when Manchester United got beat 4-0 against MK Dons, there was the excuse that it was players that we were going to let go and everything. But with England, you're playing Iceland. All right, yeah, they've done terrifically well. And credit to them, they've beat us. They deserved it. But they're a nation with, what, 300,000 people in it or whatever the stat is. As big as Leicester, as in the size. It's just ridiculous, man. How many times do we bottle tournaments? We bottle more than fucking Volvic, for crying out loud. We've won six games in 50 years in major knockout tournaments. Six games, and we're ranked 12 or 13th in the world. Six games in 50 years. I'm sure this new uh, last 16 was invented because England... You know, bottle it in the first round. Now we can't call the quarterfinal ach uh, an achievement. Qualifying from the group no longer puts you into the quarterfinal. So we can't no longer call that an achievement because now it's the last 16 and that's what we've went out on. We had the easiest draw on paper. Ice Iceland, all they have really, they're a very good defensive side because they sit 10 men at the back. They've got a long thrower and they're good aerially uh, and at set pieces. And what did they score from? A long throw and set pieces, I think, or headers or whatever the hell it was. Well, one of them wasn't, to be honest. It was just a fumble from Joe Hart. And yes, David De Gea has made two horrific saves, uh, sorry, a horrific mistakes for Spain that have resulted in goals. But at least he makes about five world-class saves most games. Joe Hart, I mean, I've never really been a, a massive Joe Hart fan, but I've never really... Like, not rated him as a goalkeeper. I thought he's a solid goalkeeper, but come on. Like, what has he done this tournament? He's had nothing to face. And when he has, he's let it in. No one in this tournament, no one in this game played any good football. It just made no sense. Every player didn't know what they were doing. Hodgson's changed the system about eight times. You're supposed to stick with it. I mean, everyone wanted Vardy and Sturridge to start at the start of the competition. Or Kane and Vardy. Like... And, and you didn't, right, fair enough. Stick to your guns, like, just, I don't understand. Or if you are going to change, at least change it to what you did for Wales, like, in the second half. Where's that? Where's that system gone? That was the best half, the only half of decent football we've played. And we scored two goals from it in that half. But no, we get nearly lead, exactly what we wanted. You know, everyone's talking about how we unlock the Iceland defence. Four minutes in, Sterling of all people, who's been utter shite this entire tournament, manages to get a penalty. Wayne Rooney slots it in, 1-0. You're thinking, fantastic. Yes, we're going to go on to batter them. They've got to come at us. They come at us one minute later, 1-1. One, one. Seriously, and then uh, not only that, 2-1 because of the Joe Hart fumble. And we couldn't get back in it. We had, like, nothing after that. We had a header from Kane, which was easily saved. Like, seriously, Kane goes from... Harry Kane, like, literally from inform Zlatan Ibrahimovic in his prime when he plays for Spurs, or Alan Shearer in his prime when he plays for Spurs, to fucking Emil Heskey at the end of his career. Like, what the hell when he's playing for England? I just don't understand it. Like, how can your performance differ? I know I've went through tactics from Hodgson and everything, but, like, when you've got a free header, he had 20 seconds or so, Well, that's an exaggeration, but the ball was in the air for so fucking long. And then I've got the commentators as well. Like they, I know that's nothing to do with the football, but they piss me off as well. It's a good header. A good header. He's had like 10 seconds or whatever it is. It's floated in the air. He's literally got no man marking him. And all he has to do is, is pick a side. And he heads it straight at the goalkeeper. And the commentators say it's a good header. I've never seen such biased commentary in my life. Even Robbie Savage for Wales was at least crediting England when they were playing. And he was actually being unbiased. Robbie fucking Savage. But aside from the commentators, the, the football on display just... Oh... I just don't understand it. We're ranked 13th in the world. 13th in the world. Are you fucking serious? Well, I suppose in this competition, we got in the top 16. Like, yay. Isn't that what we wanted? Top 16. Oh, my God. I was looking forward to a game against France. A game against France. I mean, do I really want it to see that? Like, we probably get destroyed 4-5-0 against a competent team who can actually score, who are known for it. But, um... Now that like, everyone was piss poor today, everyone, Rooney, Sterling, Kane, Sturridge wasn't very good either, Walker, who's been terrific this tournament, was AIDS, Hart was shit, like, the defence was terrible, I mean, oh, it was just all pathetic, and then, you're waiting for a change, you're waiting for a change at half-time, Will Sharon for Dyer.
another midfielder, a midfielder offer a midfielder. You're playing three. You're playing three midfielders. You're two one down against Iceland. Yet you sub off a midf midfielder for a midfielder. Sorry, sorry, I'm being really harsh. It's a defensive midfielder for an attacking midfielder. That's good enough, that's good enough. I mean, you don't have two of the paciest strikers in England in Vardy and Rashford sitting on the bench waiting to be used. Now, nah, I'll wait until the 60th minute to bring on Vardy. Uh, that, that'll help his impact, won't it, when they're literally slamming 10 players into the box and there's no space whatsoever. But, uh, you know, I'm Hodgson, I'll do what I like. And then Rashford, oh, send him on with four minutes left. <laughs> You've saved that Dutch fraud's job for six months, pal. I'm sure you can save mine for four minutes. Four minutes he got. And I'm pretty sure I counted him beating two or three players. Uh, two or three players, which is more than Sterling's done all fucking tournament. In four minutes. Four minutes. One winger. We played. We brought one winger in Raheem Sterling. One default winger. And uh, we played 4-3-3. And um, I just don't make, it make sense. I mean... You've got Townsend, you've got Antonio, I mean, Jesse fucking Lingard, like, take him, take a winger, I don't care, like, take anyone, like, take Nathan Redmond, for fuck's sake, take a winger, but no, no, we take Sterling, that's it, one, one winger, and we play 4-3-3 three, three the entire tournament, until he changes it, when we actually play well in the second half against Wales, <sighs> oh my god, Wales, Wales, are in the quarterfinals. They're the team I'm backing now. Like I, I want them to win. They, they do. They, like they deserve what they've got. Like they've been terrific this tournament. They really have. Yes, they've got Gareth Bale, but in in whole the whole team's been a unit. Ireland, they went out to um, France, but they generally had a big chance to win it. If it wasn't that five minutes uh, spell where Griezmann just turned on his world class ability, then yeah, they 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 could have easily been through against France. They played so well, but no. We go out to Iceland. I wouldn't have cared if it was Germany, if it was France, if it was Spain, Italy, you know, a big side, even someone like Belgium, Portugal, at a push. But no, it's Iceland, and it's just completely fucking unacceptable. But hey, we're used to it, so I don't even know why I'm fucking complaining.